is Senator Bill Haggerty, the great state of Tennessee, Music City land. How are you, Senator? Great to have you back. Very well, Sean. Good to be with you tonight. There is a rumor running around Washington, but I know there's lots of rumors in Washington that you might be up for consideration for Treasury. Uh, what could, if anything, can you tell us about it? If asked, would you take it? Sean, I think that President Trump has some very personal decisions to make about his cabinet. The American public has spoken louder than ever. The landslide victory that he won is a mandate to change Washington significantly. My colleague, Senator Hawley, I think mentioned the, the house cleaning that needs to happen. It needs to be completely rethought. That's what Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy are going to do, and that's what President Trump has empowered them to do. The American public expect radical change to take place. He's going to select cabinet members that will help him do that again. That's a personal decision for him, not a decision for me. Uh, but I'm certain of this. He's going to pick the right people to help him come in and deliver on this mandate, people that can help him rethink the way government works and to bring the government back to the people and take it away from the bureaucracy. If, if asked, would you consider it? Sean, I have been honored like never before to serve the people of Tennessee as the United States Senator from Tennessee. I was honored to serve in President Trump's administration when I served as U.S. Ambassador to Japan. Uh, but I'm going to continue to keep my head down, keep focused on delivering for the American people in whatever role I might take. I think, too, besides the border, the next two most important issues, inflation, the economy, high energy prices. Mm -hmm. um, we have a Fed chair, unelected, appointed, not accountable to people. His name is Jerome Powell, and a lot of people have been very suspect of his monetary policy. He has declared that if Donald Trump asked him to step aside, uh, that he would not do so. I don't think that should be his decision. Would President Trump have the ability to remove him? President Trump certainly has a mandate that we've never seen before coming in from, from, from the, the American people coming into office right now. He's got a massive mandate. And the very foundation of this mandate, Sean, is a strong economy. A strong economy will beget our military being stronger. It'll beget our safety at our border. And certainly it will help us around the world with stronger diplomacy. And what President Trump is entitled to is to have everybody pulling the oars in the same direction to strengthen our economy. He should take a very hard look at the Fed. I can tell you, even beyond Chairman Powell, you've got Vice Chair Barr, who's very much overstepped his boundaries as the Vice Chairman of Supervision, stepping into regulatory arenas that are way outside of his mandate. This all needs to be reined in. Again, our economy is going to be the foundation of it. Getting back into the energy business again will be the foundation of it. But what we will see is a strong America. And as I say, everyone should be pulling in the right direction. That includes the Chairman of the Fed. How do you feel about the president's cabinet picks? And do you feel confident that all of them, I know there's a lot of media criticism. I mean, Matt Gates in a statement today said he did not want to be a distraction. He wanted the president to hit the ground on day one and have his own AG. Uh, and, and certainly I've known Pam for years. I think she'll be a great, a, a great attorney general for the country. Yeah. Uh, Senator Marco Rubio, who you know very well. Uh, you have mm -hmm. other more controversial picks that are mentioned out there. You know who they are. Do you think the Senate will give the president the cabinet he is asking for? Because Republicans we, will have we a 53 seat should. majority. Yeah, we absolutely should, Sean. And you can see this coming from a mile away. The American public have voted to take our nation back. They want radical change to take place. That's precisely what elites in Washington do not want to see. That's why you're seeing this resistance. That's why you're seeing all the pearl clutching going on in the media. President Trump needs to put in place a team that's going to help him make this transformation possible. That's exactly why we're seeing this. But this Republican Senate needs to stand behind President Trump, get these cabinet members confirmed immediately, and make certain that the change that the American public voted for overwhelmingly starts on day one. We love our friends in Tennessee. Senator, great to have you. Appreciate you being with us. Thank